All right, let's relate addition and multiplication because multiplication is just repeated addition, taking the same number and adding it over and over. But multiplication tends to be the faster way to do it instead of repeated addition. So select the first, I'm sorry, select the following that is equal to five times two. So this is saying the first number tells us how many groups. And this number tells us the number in each group. So this is saying I need to have five groups with two in each group. One, two, three, four, five. Five times two is ten. And two plus two plus two plus two plus two also equals ten. So we are looking for two five times. Next we have three times four. So we said the three tells us groups. I'm going to put G for groups and four tells us the number in the groups. So how many equal groups do I need? Three. And how many are in each group? Four. So one, two, three. So four plus four plus four is the same as three times four. They're both 12. So four plus four plus four is the same. Next, we have five times two. Okay, so this is saying five is the groups, two is the number in each group. So how many groups do I need? Five. How many in each group? Two. One, two, three, four, five. And we did this one already, but it never hurts to review. Good job. So we need five twos. Two times one. This is saying I have two groups and there is just one in each group. So what would that look like? One group, two groups. So two times one and one plus one both equal two. So that's our answer. That's our repeated addition. Next one, three times four. First number tells us the groups, number of groups. Second number tells us how many in each group. So I need three groups. How many in each group? Four. One, two, three, four. Oh no, did I do three groups or four groups? Three groups is what I need, so I don't need this. See how it's nice when we label what we need? So this is what we need here. Okay, we need three fours. And it's good to see that mistake. I need you to see why it's important, why those numbers are where they are. Okay, next one. How many groups? Right, one. How many in each group? Four. So there's one group. There's my one group. That's it. One group, and there's four in it. And one times four is four. Three times two. All right, tell me, how many groups? Three, good. How many in each group? Two. Okay, so let's do three groups with two in each. One, two, three. There we go. Because three times two is six, and that's the same as two plus two plus two, which also equals six. Next, we have one times one. This is funny, but yes, it's true. So this is saying, how many groups? One, how many in each group? One. So what is our group gonna look like? There it is. 
one group with one item in it. Funny, isn't it? It is. All right, next one. Two times one. How many groups do we need? Two. Right. How many in each group? One. So I need two groups with one in each group. One group, two groups. And they both equal two. That tells you you know your answer's correct. All right, one more. Three times four. How many groups do we need? And when you have these problems in front of you, mark them up. It helps you to avoid mistakes and it gives you a little code that you have that you can check back on anytime. So we need three groups and there needs to be how many in each group? Four. So one, two, three groups. And they both equal 12. So I know I'm correct. Great job today. Way to go.